Hola, ¿cómo están? Yo me llamo Señor García. Mucho gusto. All right, let's just go back. I am Julio García. I'm your Spanish teacher for this semester. All right, so I want to give you a little bit about myself so you get to know who this guy is. Yeah, I was born in Havana, Cuba. Spanish is my first language, actually. My second language is English. I learned English at the age of 12. I study music most of my life. I have a master's in music from University of Montana and a master's in leadership from Grand Canyon University. I also have a bachelor's of music from University of Miami. For you. That's right, Hurricane, sorry. Have to give a shout out to my people. All right. I've taught for 20 plus years. In that time, I've taught music um, K through college. I've taught philosophy, critical thinking, humanity, education classes at the university level. I've also taught Spanish, K-12, general music, instrumental music, vocal music, and art and music history and appreciation from K-12. to I've performed for over 40 years. I started when I was nine years old in Havana, and uh, I've been lucky enough to perform in a couple of international places, Cuba, of course, um, Vatican City, and Italy. I also perform nationally in Florida, um, New Mexico, Wyoming, Colorado. And um, I've really self-released a couple of CDs back in 2005, 2006 of my own music that I composed. Okay, uh, it's pop music or Cuban pop, really, Latin pop. Kind of think of Santana idea, sound. And um, as a performer, I was lucky enough to sing in the same stage as Luciano Pavarotti and Jose Carreras, two of the greatest male voices of the 20th century uh, when I was part of the University, University of Miami Chorale. Okay, now what do I like to do? Me gusta, I like, uh, me gusta traveling, fishing, and well, I'm Cuban, playing baseball. All right, that picture right there is actually what took in Hawaii last summer, uh, right from our alumni. You know, it's a beautiful, beautiful sunset that day, and we just had to take a picture. Just a little bit about my family. That is my beautiful wife. And she is a Spanish teacher right here in Colorado Springs. You might have her at some point, Mrs. Garcia, Senora Garcia. That is my daughter on the left. And two of my sons, I missed one. He's gonna be mad at me. Two of my son, um, Tony and Alex. Now, this was one of our trips um, to Hawaii. If you look over here, you might see marlin that I caught in Hawaii, off the shores of Hawaii. It was about a 150-pound marlin. Guys did not really give us much of a fight. They just kept coming at us, which was kind of a little scary because when they do that, sometimes they try to jump on the boat. And that's when it gets hairy. But it wasn't too bad. And uh, we, re we released him. He wasn't big enough to be, to, kept, to be kept. Over here, you have a tuna, an ahi, that my son Scott. That one took us a while, about 30 minutes or more. She just kept fighting us. So Tony, the bigger of the, kid, bigger of the two uh, twins, was on the seat. And he kept rolling it in, but Alex had to jump and help him out. The mom had to jump and help him out. And I had to jump in and help her out. And then Alex had to go back and help Tony some more. Until finally, about 30 to 40 minutes later, we finally caught her and brought her on board. Uh, we ate for over a week from that tuna, delicious fish. And we gave quite a portion of it to the captain of the ship because we couldn't eat it all. Like I said, it was about 150 pounds. Now, down there to the left, you'll see my baseball team. I play baseball in what my kids call the old man's league, um, 45 and above. I am 54. I play second base and catcher, and sometimes I have a good ERA, sometimes not so good. We are pretty slow, but we have a good time out there, okay? So let's talk about why you're really listening to this video. Spanish. Some things to remember as you learn the language. Practice make permanent. Yes. No, practice doesn't make perfect. If you practice wrong, you will permanently learn it wrong. So you want to practice correctly, okay? More practice, the better you will get. Practice makes permanent. You will make mistakes. Just keep trying, keep improving, keep practicing, ask questions, okay? Watch the video that I'm sending you, the addiction video, over and over and over and over and over and over again. It's going to take time to learn how to say some of these things. The video just gives you some hints on how you better pr uh, pronounce things in Spanish, okay? Language is about communication. The better we understand you, 
the better you communicate. Sorry, the better you communicate, the better we understand you, right? So that's the whole point, practice. Knowing more than one language opens the world for you. Travel, business, experience, and more profitable when you communicate with other, you know, other cultures. Let's say you want to go down to the Caribbean. Being able to speak both English and Spanish, there's a good chance you're going to find somebody that speaks that language. So you don't have to be stuck with some type of guide. Well, let's say you are in business and uh, the world's a small place and a lot of the business we do is with South America, Mexico, um, Venezuela. Argentina. So it's important that when some, a company hires somebody, they're going to want somebody who speaks the language. So if you're talking to somebody down in Mexico, your company is going to want somebody who speaks the language versus an English speaker to speak with them down there because they want to talk to somebody who speaks Spanish. So it makes it a lot of bit easier to do your business, right? So it's always a good thing to have more than one language under your belt. All right. This is my uh, contact information, 719-301-9892 is my phone number. Of course, you can always email me or message me, okay? Those are my office hours. And please, please, please come check out our high classes in the World Language Department room. Okay, there's some really good ones. I know Mrs. Garcia does a uh, like, uh, reading thing and like a story time. It's really cool. You should go check it out sometime. Anyways, nice meeting you all. I hope you do the same and send me a short video or an email just telling me a little bit about yourself so I get to know you too, all right? See you in class, guys.